So let's go back to uh, verse 19. Okay, put the, put the previous verse so that we can compare the both. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. So first thing is, tomorrow, tomorrow just remind me, Okay, what okay. are the old things that have got cancelled? We got to learn that. Okay. Okay. What 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 does he mean by the old things? Today there is no time. Okay. It's going to take one full day. Okay. <laughs> so we we'll learn all the old things that are gone. That's where Sheila gets a healing. And okay. what she got is just a tip of a healing. We all need healing, including me. Okay. So when we get onto the list of the things that are destroyed by Jesus through the Holy Spirit where as we go through the scriptures those scriptures are the medicine for your healing Amen, praise God because if you use the word of God like an antivirus and you keep meditating on it keep speaking it like an antivirus it will run through and search all those things which are not of the kingdom <coughs> and bring it to the surface and terminate it Amen, amen, amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. Amen. All things are of God. So this change that is taking place is not us, it's of God. And to bring that change, God uses the gospel of Christ. That is why in today's world, you can say the world is suffering, the world is going through this, there is virus, there is that. The only solution for all issues of life is the preaching of the gospel. Yes. I can go and serve people but not change them in their thinking. So they are going to experience uh, outer benefits but still their old self is still alive taking them back into corruption. But yes. here the Lord says all things are of God and what are those all things? He has reconciled, reconciled us. us to himself. So it is God who has made the first move. Praise God. Praise the moment the, the gospel was preached and you said, I'm willing to agree with the gospel. I'm willing to make Jesus the Lord of my life. At once, God has cancelled everything of your past. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. He has Praise reconciled. You know, the good news is God never looks at your past to give you your future. If yes. God had to look at the past, Saul would have been disqualified for the killing of so many innocent people when he persecuted the church. Yes. So remember, God does not look at your past to give you your future. Your past might be extremely bad. Now what Sheila was talking about is a past which is extremely bad mm -hmm. and in that, it's not no fault of hers as well. But the enemy wants to do that. When does a person get pain? When I respond to that situation, not through Jesus, it becomes pain. Mm -hmm. But if I uh, respond through Jesus, then the very person who has hurt me has given me opportunity to increase my wisdom, to increase my knowledge, and to get myself onto the higher promotion because if that hurt had not come, I wouldn't have operated on Jesus' love. So it's my response. It is my response that has taken me there. Now the same Sheila has got even more hurts than before. But now, why is she flying like an eagle? Because she has realized, if I operate with my emotions, I will be tortured to death. But if I respond through the written word of God by faith in Jesus, then that same Jesus takes all those hurts and in respond, he gives me love. And it is that love that gives me an assurance and that confidence 
that Jesus loves me. He cares for me. And Amen. his love for me is perfect. Now the response is different. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this, when a person taps into this love and keeps on tapping into this love, he experiences victory. Amen. There is not a single person in this world who has not gone through abuse, verbal, or might be physical, or might be rejection, or might be hurts. Every human being goes through that. Why is he going through that? Because we are living in a corrupted world. But, but, even though the devil is using that to torture us, God is saying, listen, I will give you my word. I will give you my understanding. With this, what the devil meant for evil, you also, like Joseph, can come to a point where you can say, the devil meant it for evil, but my God meant it for good. good. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Joseph is telling his own brothers, you sold me as a slave. It was evil on your part. But God allowed it to happen. Because when I went through all this journey, I learned things that I could have never learned before. It was not possible for me to learn. But in the journey of this suffering, God began to show me the kind of stuff that he had put inside of me. And after all this journey, when I went through, I reached a point where I become so very strong, so very intelligent, so much of operating in a relationship with God by my faith that I can see every, every trial of my life has turned into victory when I did not use my senses, but I responded with faith. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So remember, all things are of God. All evil comes from the enemy, but God in the midst of that evil is moving on our behalf. Yes. In the midst of that evil is teaching us how to respond. And here he is responding. He has responded to us by reconciling us to himself, by drawing us to himself. And that's how he has given us the ministry of reconciliation. reconciliation. Now that you are born again with the ministry of reconciliation, now begins your journey of word of reconciliation. So now what happens in the word of reconciliation? You got born again. Now let us see every day what is our journey. Put the 18th verse. 19th verse. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Point number one. Just as God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, now that you have received the ministry of reconciliation, now that you have the testimony, now that you know the truth, now you can change those words like this, that God is in me reconciling the word to himself. So now Christ in me is the same Christ who is using my body, my life, to minister to the world and reconciling them to himself. And that is what Sheila was saying. My dear sisters, I want to tell you, if you are going through this, I have mm. gone through this and I found the way. All this time, I thought the way was right. And I began to move in that way. And I felt so good when they gave me the prophecies, when they gave me messages, when they laid hands on me, when the anointing came, I fell on the ground under the anointing. It was good. But when I stood up, I did not know the truth. And I kept walking with my emotions and found myself in the desert. But now I begin to realize the truth and I found the way. I'm not saying I've reached the final destination, but I've made a lot of ground. The suicidal is gone. The anxiety is gone. The worry is gone. And I'm bubbling with joy. How long will the bubble be? As long as I'm clinging on to Jesus. Word, word, word of God. Yes. And when I'm saying I'm clinging on to Jesus, remember, the word of God is Jesus in spirit. Okay. So the first thing is, for the word of ministry is that God has put me heaven. in the place of Christ to represent heaven and do the ministry of 
reconciliation. <laughs> Just as God was with Jesus, that he went about preaching, teaching so, and healing. healing. So now I have got a ministry of reconciliation and I'm speaking the word of reconciliation. So whatever has gone wrong, let's, let's cancel it and let's have the friendship. Let's have the relationship restored. And as you are doing the repentance and restoring the relationship, there will be healing. There will be deliverance. There will be prosperity. There will be blessings. All that comes to the word of reconciliation. reconciliation. Yeah. Okay. Amen to that. Amen. 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 So Praise God in Christ is the same God now. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. in me. And who is in me? Christ. Jesus Christ is in me. Yes. So with my body, I look me. But in my spirit, spirit it's, not, is, it's not Christ. It's Christ. Yeah, it's Christ who is, who is using my body to minister to others. Oh, and when he's ministering to others, it's not me who is serving them. It is Christ in me who is serving them. And therefore, I'm able to practice the word of reconciliation. reconciliation. Second point. Not, Second point. Imp not imputing the trespasses unto them. Now the word imputing means counting. Counting, okay. Not counting their sins. So anyway, now let's say, Jude, you are standing there and you are ministering to somebody who is drinking alcohol. What will the devil tell you? What are you talking to him? You once you were also. You were once, you, you, you are. He will say you are, not what. You are worse than him. Now what will you say? I will take this one. God will not impute. No, no. Why are you saying that? Okay. Let's say I committed a murder and okay. you are the inspector and you arrested me and brought me into the court. Okay. Okay. Now all witness, everything is there. The case is done and the judge is going to do the last verdict. Mm. And just then, not me, let's say somebody else, okay? He mm. got a heart attack, who was supposed to be uh, mm. okay. mm. And he got a heart attack and he died. Okay. Now, will there be any continuation of the case? No. Why not? Because the main person who has to be condemned is dead. So, the, everything is over? Everything is over. In the same way, all that you had done in the past, aren't yes. you dead with Christ? Yes, the whole things. Praise so, God. whatever accusation the devil has, does he have any accusation? The man is dead. I said the man is dead. Amen. Yes, the whole nature. So when the man is dead, does the law have any authority over him? No. So, what do they do with the dead body? Nothing. Put it in the grave. Yes. So, when they put it in the grave, was Jesus' dead body put in the tomb? Yes. yes. Did it be, remain there for three days? Yes, after that. Now yes. when Jesus rose again from the dead, now can they accuse him? No. Because the dead man is over. Over. Now he is in the human in spirit. Praise so when, when you are grafted in Jesus and you died with Christ, My you were buried with Christ and now and you rose with again you. with Christ I and that's not Christ. God me. God raised you from the dead. Now can Satan say you are my no. Because you, you were there as long as the dead body was. When the moment you died, you got your freedom. Okay. Praise then God. Like the death of Jesus on the cross is so important because only when you understand that when Jesus died, you died with him and therefore Satan has no authority oh. over you. Praise God. And whatever the punishment was there has been paid in full. Paid in full by our Lord Jesus Christ. So once Amen. The, Amen. for that crime, the penalty has been paid, you cannot punish the person for the same crime twice. Mm. Praise God. So, so has God, is, now read that part again. Not imputing. Not imputing the trespasses unto them Okay, pause, pause, pause. We, we won't go ahead further. Not imputing the trespasses unto them. Now, them. is there a condition applied? 
Yes, you don't know the condition yes. applied? Believing. Are the conditions applied? Yes, conditions. Go, go to 1 John. Okay. 1. Yes, we learned that. 1 John. 1. Was 7. Was 7 and 9. Start with 9 first and then we'll go to 7. If we confess our sins. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Is the word if there? Yes. So is it conditional? Yes. Conditions. So if you don't confess your sin. Then will the scripture work? No. No. Okay. If we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, so what is the one thing that Jesus, God wants us to do? We have to confess our sins. So if we confess, what is God going to do? He is what faithful thing? and he will forgive us sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hello, 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 hello. Listen, 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 listen. Four things. Go, go, go. Point by point. Don't miss it. Okay. <laughs> First one. He is faithful. Now, now, are you enjoying the word of God? Yes. Because you can split the word mm. and get the juice out point by point and now renew your mind to those points. Praise God, yes. First one. Faithful. He is faithful. So, we, is, is God faithful to us? Yes. When we confess our sins. Then. Forgive us our sins. Pause, 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 pause. You went wrong. Okay, just. Ah, forgive. if okay, it's not just. just, then we will go into hell. Okay, just. To Why pass. is he just? Because when the devil is accusing us that mm. this person has done all this, if the judge is not just, he will say, devil, you are right. Okay. Yes. But what is he yes, saying? God. Our God what is God, God. Say? Devil, you are saying this, but I'm not going to take your accusation only. I'm yes. going to ask the defense lawyer as well. Jesus is my yes. defense, defense advocate. Lawyer. He's my defense advocate. What is he saying? I paid, paid the, the penalty the, for the, all the sins. Full. Now, both witnesses are right. Hmm. Both are right. Yes. Satan is saying he has done wrong. Wrong, wrong. Jesus God, said, he said, I have paid the price and penalty in full. So you need two witness. You are the witness. Next now what are you saying? Confess. You are confessing your sin and not waiting there. And we are to also all... confessing what Jesus did for Jesus you. Jesus did for the... us in the cross. Yes. So when you confess your sins, you are saying all that Jesus has paid comes under this sin. Hmm. The penalty which was there on me was Satan is accusing. I confess I've done it. But I also have the document from Jesus. He has yes. paid the price and I the think. receipt is there. Yes, receipt. Two, when I'm saying what Jesus has paid, then I become a witness with Jesus, agreeing with Jesus. Satan wants me to go and tell what I've done. Hmm. And stop there. Okay, put that uh, Revelation 12.10. 12, 12.10. 12, 10. We'll come back, okay? Okay. Is it interesting? Yes. That's how you fight the battles. <coughs> And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his, of his Christ. Pause, pause. So salvation has come. Healing has come. Deliverance has come. Prosperity has come. Eternal life has come. All of God has come. How? 
in strength. The kingdom of God has come to us. How? By the power of Christ Jesus. Jesus. Now, when it has come, is Satan going to keep quiet? No. No, no. Now, what is the Satan doing? For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before a God day and night. So Satan is saying what we did in obedience to him. Mm, yes. So when I confess what I've done in obedience to Satan, do I need to be punished? Yes. Yes. Now look at the 11th verse. And they overcome him. Hey, they uh, overcame him. Overcame him. Pause, 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 pause. Who is that him? Satan. Satan. So now God is giving us an, a, a solution. How do you overcome what you have done wrong? How do you overcome your punishment? How do you overcome the curse? How do you overcome sickness? How do you overcome what all wrong things? All the bondages and everything. There is a system. How do you overcome? By what? overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Now, does the blood of the lamb speak? Yes. Yes. Does Abel speak? Abel's blood speaks for justice. Yes. What came killed him? Yes. Yes. So also, does the blood of Jesus speak on my behalf? Yes. Yes. So when the blood of Jesus is bearing witness, what Jesus has done for me on the cross, I am also confessing my sin. And at the same time, I'm also giving the word of my testimony of what Jesus has done for me, for me on in the, the cross. cross. If I don't give that testimony, what Jesus has done for me on the cross, then the hammer comes down. And I'm condemned to death. That is why God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him, in him shall be saved. So when I believe, I confess what Jesus has done for me on the cross as my testimony. And therefore, because I believed it and confessed it, I shall not perish, but I shall have eternal, eternal life. life. Praise God. Amen. So now that I've given the word of my testimony, testimony, I no longer love my life anymore because my life is now in Christ Jesus. Amen. As for my life, it is it's dead. Now. now Christ lives me. in me. me. So I'm no it's longer loving my life. I'm loving Jesus, his life. So what about my life? Old corrupted life. It's dead on the cross. So which life am I living? The new creation life. Nice. The new creature life. Amen? Amen. So when a person is confessing this, now God who is just, hello, God who is just, what is he telling? Satan, yeah. what you are saying? I can't see in the book of life. Oh. I can't see any yes. record there because the blood of Jesus as I raised it. All record that was against me, he took that document and nailed it on the cross. Amen. Praise God. Now, understanding this truth, I'm saying, my God is a God of, who is just, just to me. Just God. He's a just God. He's looking at Jesus' witness, and my, my witness, witness, both in agreement. Satan has no power now. He has to be. He is defeated. Amen. Praise God. Did you understand? Yes, Papa. Go back to 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, first one, He is faithful. Second one, just. He is just with us. Just with us. Third. Forgive us our sins. And four. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For all the unrighteousness is removed and we are made righteous. Now who does these four things? 
God does this four things. God, okay, God. What is my thing? Only to, to confess, and confess and my sins, and, and at the same time confess also what Jesus has done for me on the cross. the cross. So I'm no longer looking at what I've done. I'm only looking at what what Jesus, Jesus did. But I do repent and say I've done is wrong. Yes. Praise God. Now put the seventh verse. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanseth us from all sin. So what is walking in the light? Walking in the light. Marina, what is walking in the light? Sharing the gospel. Marina. Yes, Papa. Let me see you. I want to see the expression. Yes. What is walking in the light? Jocelyn disappeared from afternoon. The light is Jesus. So I'm walking in Jesus in the word of the Lord. In the word of God. Because so what, is, what is walking in the light? I'm walking according to the word of God. Exactly. So what is walking in darkness? I'm walking with whatever Satan tells me to do. Against so the what time we were believing what? What Satan was telling us. Against so when I am bitter, when I am offended, when I have got all the negative emotions, am I walking in darkness? Yes. So how do I change that? By renewing my mind? Yes. And getting my life, my mind in line with the word of God. Now, am I walking in the light? Yes. yes. Is Jesus always in the light? Yes. Yes. So when I'm walking with him in the light, do I have fellowship with Jesus all the time speaking to him? Yes. yes. So now as I'm talking to him in fellowship with him, whatever corruption is there is the <laughs> fountain of his blood cleansing me from all my sin. Yes. So what is the key factor? Continue to walk in, walk the, light. in the light. So sin that had a claim on me, sin that wanted to lead me to curse, Sin that had wanted me to destroy me has no power over me because I have made a decision and I'm walking in the light. 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 Amen. Praise so God. when you're walking in the light, is God going to count your trespasses? No. No. He's going to count your sins. No. Are we counting what people have done to us? Yes. Yes. Yes, Hello, yes. Are we counting what people have done to us? Yes, we were doing We that. have the scoreboard and treasury that we put the documents there and when somebody says something, yes, I know, I know, let me tell you. And the whole <laughs> list comes out. <laughs> so if I'm keeping the accounts of others, now will God say, I also will keep accounts of yours? Yes. Seven, 25, 25. So, so when I'm forgiving and saying, I've got no document against this person, what is God saying? I, I have no document, against, have document you. against you. Is this clear? Yes, Papa. So when you have the Ministry of Reconciliation, are you going to talk about friendship? Are you going to talk about light? Or are you going to talk about hurts? Uh, nobody's talking, man. No, 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 no. The YouTube got disconnected. So I just seeing that. Oh, YouTube got disconnected? But Marina should talk. No, at least. At least she's doing something. What? Now you can talk to me. Yes, Papa. Continue. I'll talk to you. So the question that I asked, what about that question? Not walking in, walking in the light. So every moment is the devil trying to push you into darkness? Yes. That day one person sent me the message. That person told me so many bad things about Marina. You, Jude? 
I wanted to forward it to her. Then I said, "Oh, it's okay." You should have, Papa. You should have because then I said, if somebody is thinking this and cursing me, I am full of blessing. No problem. Ah, was it the same way eighteen years back? So now, when you became a new creature, you are living with a new nature. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So, in the new nature, do we have old records? No. Are we walking in the light? Yes. What if somebody has taken advantage of you and caused you a lot of problem? Are you going to remember all those? Then no. all your life, your your own response has made you a representative. Not Satan, not, not God. Your own response. Your own choice. Yes, my own choice. Now, I gave one day an example of chips that we made in Goa, where you know suddenly uh, somebody had told that you know don't prepare snacks. It was a growth retreat. Pakoras, pakoras. Pakoras, pakoras. Okay. Uh, it was a growth retreat, and don't prepare anything snacks. I'll send the snacks. And that day we had taken fasting, which yes, we never, mostly we don't do it, but in uh, never in the regular retreat, but in the growth retreat we did that. Yeah. And nobody had eaten anything, and the snack yes. was one cake and one small patties. Patty. It was a good appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Now that person did not tell me what he's going to send, and I was very happy. And I told the kitchen today is off for snacks. But when uh, we took a break and those things came out. I said, "In this, what will happen? It's only giving them appetite." So I ran to the kitchen and I asked Anthony, "Baba, what can be done?" He said, "I've got a uh, chilies, chilies, chilies." So I said, "What will you do with chilies?" He said, "I can make pakoras in no time." So he got the boys together and everybody, and he started making the mixture uh, of the batter. Mm. So I'm looking at him; he's not taking spoon or measuring. <laughs> like this, like this, like this, like this, and I don't know. He did not want me to see, or what is? I don't know. Or it is their style. Okay, he's taking this much, but I don't know what much he's putting inside. <laughs> so he put his hand in the salt, and he put his hand like this inside, and he did like this, and he put it. And I said, "My God, this fellow has made a mess." And I said, "Why did you put so much of salt?" He said, "You don't worry; it will be all all right, all right." So now. Ah, uh, he made the pakoras. The first batch came out. So I'm, I, I saw that he has put a lot of salt. Okay. Yes. So I was, uh, you know, when a person is serving at first bite, they take and it's salty. And you were fasting. And yeah, I was fasting. <laughs> so now my mouth is watering. I'm that day. No, it's still watering. Okay. Hey, stop, stop. <laughs> so I went to serve. Because if somebody is there, they will say, "What has been made is this." So I was serving, and everybody who is taking the bite, I'm asking, "How is it?" Okay. Now I'm thinking they're telling me only okay, okay. So I'm going and asking at least seven, eight people, "How is it?" They're saying okay. Then I'm waiting. If it is okay, they will come for the next one. Correct? Yes. Okay, okay but not come. Yes. Correct? Yes, yes. So I'm waiting, and even the small, small people are also coming. Small children who are there, others are coming. So I went and told him after everything was over. I said, "Why did I get deceived?" He said, "I put that salt, but the quantity is so much, no?" Yeah, yeah. correct. <laughs> okay, and then I realized God works all things together for good. Correct? Yes. God works. All things, all things together, for not individual. And then the Lord said, "What if we had to tell everybody sit down there and we will serve pakoras? He gives one one chili in one hand, chane ka atta in another hand, ginger, <laughs> garlic, salt. salt, a little chili powder, and he puts it in a plate and serves everyone. What will happen? <laughs> no one will. Eat. No one will. Eat. But that chili, which is giving you spice." If you put it together, it makes a taste. Taste. So even that hurt, when you take it together, 
it teaches you to fight against it with faith but if you only take that hurt and you forgot about jesus what jesus has done you only remembering what he did to me now what happens punch imagine you eating first garlic <laughs> then you are eating ginger <laughs> then you are eating pepper then chili then you are eating green chilies <laughs> then red chili what will happen to your taste gone completely <laughs> but don't we do like that yes that is why he saying if you walk in the light means what when you are focused on all Lord things God. together you are saying lord even this what is coming against me is a journey when i'm looking counting at all the blessings that you have done all the good things that you have done for me on the cross i'm only focused on the cross and with that this is nothing this is only going to give a spice to my journey because now i've got some testimony to share in the journey how god took me from victory to victory from glory to glory amen amen amen, amen. praise god so now do i have fellowship put that verse again baba you also are remembering the bible verse because you also want to see my expression don't i want to see your expression yes but but if we walk in the light as he is the in the light we have fellowship with fellowship one with another so when do you have fellowship when you are walking in the walking light in the light so did he say when you are praying you have fellowship no when you are agreeing to god's word you have fellowship you have fellowship when you are agreeing to god's word and now you are talking according to the word you have fellowship but if you are praying but you are bitter and angry and annoyed you are no still fellowship. in darkness no light no fellowship praise god so when a person is in hurt is that person is walking in the light no no when you are in hurt do you hear the voice of god or satan satan, satan. is it that term very fine tune and you can hear loudly yes yes do you need to say satan can you talk to me i want to fellowship with you <laughs> oh no. is it by default by default it's coming praise god yes. so when you have fellowship with one another what will the blood of jesus do cleanse us from all sin so if you are keeping old accounts can the blood of jesus cleanse you no you have told jesus you cleanse me everywhere but this account not this i cherish it <laughs> what will happen to you will be sick you'll still uh, in the darkness so is god counting your trespasses no let's go back let's go back the word impute is to count right yeah so when you have confessed and now walking in the light read that to wit that god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself so first one is god was god in christ christ now he is in reconciling people to himself in the same way now god in me through christ is doing the same thing and drawing yeah. people to himself self reconciling himself but what about my bad things read the next line not imputing their trespasses unto them ah bas bas unto them bas praise god so yes. god is not counting counting my sins. sins when i have confessed and i continue to walk in light, light. so i am reconciled to god god and now i am committed unto us word of reconciliation 
Praise God. Praise the Lord. So now, I am the reconciled. So God has committed to the reconciled what? The word of reconciliation. So just as God was working through Jesus, He's saying now, you are the in body, Jude, <coughs> yes, God. spirit, you are in Christ, and now that you are reconciled, the reconciled has been given the ministry of reconciliation to go like Christ and do the same things same for Christ did. and much greater things than that because Jesus said that because you believe in Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. So we got three points. First one. God wa was in me as he was in Christ. Not was. Hey, go. Not was, man. Not was. He is. God is in me as he was in Christ. Sorry. Yeah. Are you annoyed with me? No, no. You know that I'm just making some acting, huh? <laughs> you, you think I was angry? No, no. No, anyway, I will not make that mistake again. So God ah, is... God why is it screaming that you should not make that mistake again? Mistake again, yes. You remember the mechanic I was saying? Hmm. The Chotu, even though the spanner comes on his head, what is he saying? You do what you want. I want to become a Ustad. I want to learn. Only want I want to... to learn and start my own garage. Yes. Whatever you want me to do, do it. I, I want to learn everything. Do what you want, me. but I will start my own garage. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Then? God is in me. Then God is in me. Second one? Second one, not imputing our sins unto them. So not imputing, not counting the sins. Is the condition applied? Yes. Yes. I that confess. confess. I have to recon I have to repent and confess. And, and also confess that what Jesus testimony. has done for me on the cross. Word of my testimony. Yes. Yes. So now I'm reconciled to God. God. So if the devil is reminding you of your past, what you have done, you remind him of his future. And tell him, I know my future. I'm going to heaven. But Satan, I've got news to tell you. You're going to hell. Hell with hell. you, Satan. <laughs> Satan Press is already in hell, no? Huh? Satan is already in hell, no? No, 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 no. He's not in hell. No? That place is prepared for him. Okay. Please, God. That's why he's roaming freely, no? Oh. That's why he came and tortured Job, no? I thought he was in hell already. No, no, no. That's why, that's why he is leaving his demons to come and irritate us, no? Okay. The time has not yet come. That's why it's a time of reconciliation. Really? If Satan has to come back and say, God, I'm sorry, do you think God will forgive him? My God, both of you are doubting God's nature, man. <laughs> Shame on y'all. I don't know. I'm thinking if I'm thinking this first time I've heard this question. Uh, I'm going to throw this through the screen and it will come through your screen out. <laughs> yes, he will forgive. Says, God is love. Forgiving God. Even if Satan has to come now and say he is ready to forgive him. Amen. But Satan will not do that. He's full of pride. Yes. I never heard this question before, so I'm thinking about Yeah, it. my questions are all like that only. What to do? Should I not ask questions? No. no, 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 no. You can, but we did not answer immediately. So, because we were both uh, pondering. That, that, that's a googly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was googly. Okay. Now, fourth one. Fourth one. Next one. Next verse? 20, 20, yeah. Dude, what is the third point? Third point that he has committed, no? Committed unto so the word of reconciliation. Third one, third one, I've already spoken to you, no? I didn't write it first. First, uh, second one was not imputing our sins. Imputing our sins and, them. and third is committed unto us the word of reconciliation. See, us, no, us is I am already reconciled. And to the reconciled, he has given the word of reconciliation. Now, tell me one thing. Will you give, will you give uh, a, a position, a highest position to a person who has made mistakes and blunders? Or will you give to a smart fellow? Smart fellow. 
Now imagine Jesus calling Peter after his uh, resurrection. resurrection. Uh, the person who denied him. Correct? Yes. Will you be in that position? No. But did Jesus give him? Yes. So Jesus can give him that position. Can Jesus give me my position? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Because Jesus is full of love. He understands our mistakes. And listen, he's not looking for perfect people, okay? He's looking for the broken only. Mm -hmm. And to the broken people, with love, he's going to teach how to become, how to walk in mm -hmm. his path towards perfection. Amen. Amen. So, so when, you, when, when you are sharing the gospel and you are saying, I, these are the things that I went through. Now, Sheila was sharing about her life. Mm. The other person is saying, she is at 100 men, I am only at 20 and I am crying. <laughs> and if at 100 she can get peace, what then about 20? Very easy. So when you look only, at Peter, only thing is, we make things complicated. Now, when you look at Peter, he denied Jesus three times. And Jesus already told him. And yet he can get a chance that he can get the first time to preach. What about you and me? Praise God, yes. We also have a chance to preach the word of God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You should Hallelujah. look into the Bible for examples. Mm. And that's why the Bible is full of broken vessels. You don't find one clean vessel. Only what? broken. Only Jesus. And another person you find very, very close to Jesus is Joseph. Mother Mary. Joseph. Mm -hmm. e Enoch, Enoch is the one, another one who walked with God. Mother Mary. Mother Mary. It means very limited people. But mostly you see all making blunders after blunders after blunders. And yet God is saying, no problem. You can still get it done. Yes. If Moses who was a murderer, can get a chance. Harry, we can surely get a chance here. Yeah. Even Saul. In the New Testament. So that's what, no. It is we who are complicating and saying, I'm, I'm disqualified. When yes. you say you are disqualified, God says, come here. Let me qualify <laughs> you. Because I've come only for the disqualified. I did not come for the righteous, but I've come for the unrighteous person. Praise God. So now next one, 20. Fourth point was... Uh... Committed and to... What point will come now? 2020 verse 20. Now, then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead be you reconciled to God. So who may, as he made ambassadors? We. Now, are you going to call yourself we or reconciled ones? Reconciled. See, there's a difference between we and reconciled ones. We are reconciled. I, 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 hold on, hold on. I was baptized by birth. Okay. But do you think I was reconciled? No. Absolutely not. Even after getting married also, I was not reconciled. Means imagine how many years. Till a day came when with my own choice I said, yes, I want to receive Jesus. So all over the other days, I did not know the gospel, what will I reconcile? Yes. I thought it is all story, man. <laughs> I did not know that Jesus who is alive is alive through the scriptures, that when we take the scripture, he, he, he is performing those those mighty signs and wonders. Amen. Amen. Do you yes. know Jude? Even even the same case. Same well, well, uh, uh, Marina, did you know? And I thought this was only for selected people. But now when I understand the Bible, it is for everybody who will believe. Everyone. Jesus. Yes. I think you did not hear. I thought it was only for selected people. Yeah, it's for everyone. Yes. Now I understand. 
it is for every person who believes in jesus yes 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 amen praise god what i thought it was uh, first of all i didn't even think it was for selected people i thought it was some old story old story means it happened long time ago and um, it's nothing we are I, just i i was thinking that they might be anointed holy people only can do these kind of works no, but you saw any miracles richard you saw any miracles even from the holy people i did not see miracles you are saying holy people the reason is i never went <laughs> that's the reason i never seen it i never saw it from holy people so when you were a catechism teacher you never saw miracles so how come now you are writing all the testimonies so many because now it is completely different understand knowledge from the word of god now you are understanding the truth yeah now you are understanding how to apply it that's what and now you are saying i am not going to pray you take the scripture you i'll give you the instruction follow the instruction and send me the testimony quickly yes now now it's it's such a normal thing but you know i'm thinking how we didn't know this all this time we were so ignorant so foolish and so many years got wasted thank god the secrets have opened up thank god <laughs> thank god for you papa thank god the secret got opened up and we are putting on the rooftop and broadcasting to everybody <laughs> hey it is open it is open it is for amen, everybody amen, amen. praise god <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah so we were ambassadors are we also reconciled yes so can i boast to another sinner hey, i am the ambassador of christ he will say you are also in the same boat that i i am now you used to be in the same boat So can I boast? No. Or can I boast of the mercy of God? Yes. Can I boast of because, the grace of God? Because what Jesus did for me in the cross, I become now an ambassador. Correct. For Christ. But when I am talking, do I talk like this, and the other person down there? No, you can't. It happens. Yes. But the real truth is, he and I are of the same level. Same level. Only because I believe, I believe I got it. Going, but I'm still same level. Yes. So now when I'm looking at him, I'm saying, "Hey, listen, I look to be high, no? That is Christ in me who is making me high." Hmm. Okay, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Jude doesn't know to swim. Holy Spirit is so quick, you know, to give examples. Jude doesn't know to swim, and somebody pushed him. Will he go in or will he be up? going okay now jude is scared jude is scared so now i bring a tube and i put it around him and i tell him i'm going to push you will he be ready no yes. because for him okay last time he went he blew, no 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 and i push him with the tube now he goes in and he comes out okay. and now he looks around now he <laughs> now he's saying Hey, I don't go in. How did he learn? By experiencing. Because now he understands. As long as the tube is there, I'm safe. safe. So I come from behind and I open that. And 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 now he doesn't even know. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> Why? The air is becoming less. Mm. In the same way. are walking with christ start diminishing we also start sinking praise god yes that is why we got to keep the full air with our love and faith in christ all the time amen amen praise god yes because i've seen people you know who, who first went into the pool and they went in they got so scared now you put a tube and throw them they scream they will scream also But once they go in and they come out, no, then they look like, hey! Then the whole day they are in there. <laughs> Now, do you think they will ever learn swimming? They'll never learn swimming. No, they won't. They have to learn on their own to swim without the tube. Yes. In the same way, Christ in us is teaching us not to have anything on the outside. but he in inside is teaching us how to take the right strokes so that you master the water 
the water is where you would sink. But now if you learn my way, you can swim across and still enjoy the water. Amen. Praise God. So are you an ambassador or are you a reconciled ambassador? Reconciled ambassador. So if you are a reconciled ambassador, can you boast of your uh, I did this and I did it. I did it. Hey, come no. on, you are in the same pit, man. No, we can't. That is why in God's kingdom, there is no boasting of anybody because we were all in the same pit on the same journey to hell. The only difference that has made is Christ in us. And that is why there is no boasting. And that is why you can see the other person there and saying, hey, I used to be there, brother, but I'm coming to give you my hand. Come on, hold my hand. And I can show you how you can also be reconciled and have a good life in the future. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Anytime you feel like I'm boasting, no, you are in the wrong side. The boasting is Boast of the mercy of God. of God. Boast of the forgiveness of God. Boast of the uh, grace of God. Boast of the love of God. Boast of the power of God that he has given to us even though we don't deserve it. Amen. So Praise has God made us reconciled ambassadors? Yes. For Christ? Yes. For Christ. For what? To go around putting that match, hey, I'm the ambassador of Christ. No, to reconcile others. Just to come into it. But we have got reconciled for what? To bless me. <laughs> Is the ambassador supposed to issue for a response visa? Correct. But many ambassadors are only waiting there. How oh, will the blessing come to me? <laughs> God. That's why they are doing the wrong office work. They don't get blessed. Yes. But if you are issuing, say, 100 passports, 1,000 passports, based on how much you begin to enjoy, and now you see the resources are also multiplying to start more branches around the world so that more ambassadors are working together under the same banner for Christ. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Is it making some sense? Yes. Praise God. Praise God. The last one. Last one. So what is the fourth point? God has made me reconciled ambassador. Ambassador. Reconciled ambassador. For Christ. To do what? To, to bless me or to no. reconcile others? To reconcile others to God. And what are we doing? I am an ambassador God of Christ. God sent me. God own blessing. He is saying what for? For I myself. Oh. Sheila, are you there? She's muted. Mute? Yes, Papa. I'm hearing you loud and clear. Are you understanding? Thank you. Yes. Yes, thank you for the recipe. Good. Yeah, so the strategy plan is like getting, uh, like I'm just fine tuning, fine tuning, fine tuning. Give me some more. Continue to give. So I'll tweak it. You know, so I continue to tweak it. Reconciled ambassador or ambassador? Reconciled ambassador, of course. Of course. So you are going to pray for your blessings? No. So you, your job is what? To share that, to carry that uh, for others. Just take his healing and share it with others. Take the gospel and bring them to reconciliation to back God. to Christ. Right? Yes. Yes. Good. Stick to this office, it will expand. Do Amen. anything else, it will go for a dip. Diminish. Not, not that. Okay, 21. Last one. For he has made him to be sin. Now, who is what? he and him? God has made him is Jesus. Yes. For he has made him to be sin. For us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. So God made Jesus Christ Jesus to be sin. a sin offering for us so that we might be made righteous. Righteousness, righteousness. of God. 
so that we may might be made righteous right god of god in him in him praise god so we got five hello did we get five we are made the righteousness of god in him so did we get the five truths of reconciliation first one is god is using me just like in christ christ reconciling people to himself himself second is not counting my sins but since but i need to confess repent so that i am reconciled to him yes third committed and to the word of reconciliation the reconciled so always what do i call myself ambassador of reconciliation but i am reconciled so was i qualified no i was oh. disqualified but god qualified me and therefore i can look at others who are disqualified and say hey i was also disqualified i also failed in the same class but god put the grace in me and passed me out and got me the position of an ambassador it's god so are you a failure yeah even i have been a failure marina is only the one who passed all <laughs> what papa have you been a failure of course failure when not in your academics man of course ah so when I one failure looks at the other failure does he look like hey, i am smarter than you no hello so is there any pride now no there is only humble in the mercy of god and saying god you are so loving nobody would have selected me for this position forget about this position i was supposed to go to hell it is you who saved me and i'm thankful to you and i'm ready to do anything with the life that you have given me Praise just because somebody came and saved my life and brought me to christ by preaching the gospel lord now let me do the same to others and i've got confirmation from you that you are faithful you are just you are clear you cleanse and you make everybody righteous through christ jesus amen amen praise god praise god so finally we finished today yes so tomorrow we will study the old self old the old, old self that has got has passed away is it interesting yes how did it all start how did this topic start it started this morning with um... i also don't know how this topic started no no um... our contentment and contentment was just contentment Jesus. now are you content in christ yes are you at ease yes so even if somebody is coming and troubling you are you still at ease yes yes so are the negative forces going to shake your ease romans 8:20 no. if you take only what they are doing then your ease is gone into disease <laughs> yeah but if you are not going to take what they are doing and use it completely with what god has done for you now that is in you will go and destroy the disease in that person who is giving you that who is shaking your ease <laughs> yes now oh, i learned something new if somebody is coming to shake your ease and you are focused on what he did then you got disease is he you take that ease and focus on jesus he gives you the power to go back as a minister of reconciliation and kill that disease, disease. and make that peace at, and make that person at ease is praise god 